Hey guys, Tim with PT Progress, and it's about time we answer this question once and for all. Does kinesiology tape actually work? To answer that question, I'm gonna simplify some of the most recent research out there, talk about what makes sense and when it makes sense to use kinesiology tape, and then I'm gonna expose some of the myths of kinesiology tape as well. And you don't have to be a nerd or a physical therapist like myself to understand what the research says about kinesiology tape, so let's see why some people think this tape works magic and why some people think it's just a sham. Of course, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever tried kinesiology tape and has it helped you before? I would love to hear from you guys, and I would also love it if you gave this video a like below. It really helps the channel a lot, and I enjoy making these videos for you guys, so thanks for doing that. Okay, so there are definitely a lot of questions about kinesiology tape like this, and, and you know what? If you want the answer right now without watching this entire video, it's this. The research says that kinesiology tape really isn't all that helpful. But I know that you're a smart person, and if you're curious about those claims, let's break down the claims of kinesiology tape and share a few gems along the way, like this one right here. Okay, so back up real quick. Kinesiology tape was developed back in the 70s by a Japanese chiropractor who designed the tape to be flexible. When it's on paper, uh, it's not flexible, but you rip the paper and it becomes flexible. It's very lightweight, and it has the same properties or similar properties to that of skin. And the theories are that this kinesiology tape will help to lift the skin and to improve circulation and also acts to support our muscles and ligaments and, and tendons and a number of other claims. But the challenge with these claims has to do with the limited research and the findings that support these theories. So that means you have people who swear by it and then other people who find no benefit at all from it. The good news is that kinesiology tape really isn't going to hurt you unless you have an allergic reaction to the adhesive. Plus it's inexpensive, it's really easy to apply, so that makes it very accessible for the everyday person to try it for themselves to see if it helps. So this brings us to the first question. Does it actually help with sports performance? Of course, we have to define sports performance, and luckily, there have been quite a few studies that have identified performance factors such as improving blood flow, reducing pain, preventing injuries, facilitating recovery, improving range of motion or flexibility, and increasing strength and stability. It's a pretty good list of factors that cover some of the key aspects of performance, but does kinesiology tape help with any of these? Now, one of the best ways to find out if something actually works is to run a controlled experiment on the topic, specifically a double-blind randomized controlled trial, which there aren't too many of when it comes to kinesiology tape, but an even better approach is to consider a systematic review, which looks across the literature and it combs through all of the relevant studies to give a clear and comprehensive overview of all the available evidence on a given topic. So basically it's like a cliff note, and wouldn't you know, a systematic review is published in 2018 on the effectiveness of kinesiology tape on sports performance abilities in athletes. A systematic review by Jennifer Renicara and Associates. Thanks, Jen. So I read Jen's article, and the study looked at activities from squatting to jumping, agility, sprinting, and distance running. And by golly, after reviewing the highest quality articles out there, the authors concluded that there is no convincing evidence for the effectiveness of kinesiology tape on any construct within the sports performance abilities included. That's a pretty bold statement about kinesiology tape, and I'm not trying to make anyone mad here, because if it's helped you personally, let me know in the comments, because I'd love to hear that. Because despite the claims from the author that it doesn't have any effect on performance, they also stated this, despite the results presented here, there is still potential for kinesiology tape to enhance sports performance if the athlete believes in the benefits of its use. This may be through several mechanisms, including a psychological benefit if the athlete has previous positive performance experience while wearing kinesiology tape. So that's it, you just have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in the tape. Believe in the tape. I believe in it now. I believe it's gonna happen to me now. I'm ready for it. Look, the truth is that while there isn't evidence to show kinesiology tape helps with performance across the board, you might feel like you can perform better with kinesiology tape. And who am I to say that you're wrong, even if it's a placebo effect? If it makes you feel better, then go for it. But what about pain? If kinesiology tape doesn't really help with performance, can it at least reduce pain similar to how a brace can help people experience less pain with movements or everyday activities? That's a good question, and there's a systematic review for that as well. This study looked across a broad spectrum of musculoskeletal injuries to identify whether or not kinesiology tape was effective in reducing pain among participants. The findings were mixed, with some articles demonstrating positive findings like this article from Campolo et al, which showed significant decrease in knee pain during stair ascent and descent for participants using kinesiology tape, but it's worth noting that the difference was no better than the pain reduction they experienced when using standard McConnell taping at the knee, which uses a stiff type of tape that helps to act more like a brace for the patella to improve overall stability. Now here's the thing, if you read the systematic review, you're gonna find that many of the studies showed 
that kinesiology tape helped to reduce pain for patients with knee pain, shoulder pain, and even back pain. But the problem is that the reductions in pain, they're not considered significant based on the outcome measures that they used. Studies like this usually include a term called the MCID, or the Minimally Clinically Important Difference. It's like a threshold for determining whether or not something was actually helpful. So the reduction in pain may be documented as a fraction of a point, for some people in the study, but statistically it doesn't compute as a significant difference. So this is where you're gonna see the arguments. People were gonna look at the statistical data and say that there's no significant difference in pain or performance when you're using kinesiology tape. And then you'll have other people who look at that same research and they'll point to improvements, even though they don't meet the minimum threshold, they may still be viewed as improvements. And that's part of the reason why there's room for more studies and more research on the use of kinesiology tape for performance and even pain reduction. Of course, it doesn't stop athletes and everyday people like yourself from trying kinesiology tape and, and coming up with an opinion of your own based on your own experience. And yes, there may be a component of a placebo effect to consider as well, so it's definitely difficult to argue with someone who swears by using kinesiology tape. The bottom line is this, is kinesiology tape gonna make you stronger? No. Is it gonna make you run faster? Nah. Will it help decrease pain as much as other modalities and braces? Maybe a little. Personally, I'm not against using kinesiology tape for all of those reasons I stated here. It's not dangerous, it's easy to apply, it's relatively inexpensive, and a lot of people feel like it helps and they can do it themselves. It may actually provide people with some pain relief just like a brace or any other type of modality can provide. I don't think it's a replacement for physical therapy and other exercises, but hey, if you find it to be helpful, then great. And if that brightly colored piece of tape on your knee or your shoulder helps you to remember to keep your shoulders back or to squat with better alignment, by all means, wear the tape and, and continue to work on improving your movement patterns. I even have a few videos here on the channel showing you how to use kinesiology tape safely, which may or may not help your situation because there just isn't a significant or compelling range of data showing widespread pain reduction among users. But you can take a look at those videos up here. So is kinesiology tape a sham? Ah, that's a good question. No, not to the people who find it to be helpful, but for clinicians who put kinesiology tape on everything like it's a magic bullet, you've gotta look at the research and realize that it's just not proven to be as effective as you think. So what do you think? Do you agree with these findings? Are you someone who's experienced pain relief from kinesiology tape yourself? Let me know in the comments, and if you found this video to be interesting, I would love it if you gave it a like below and consider subscribing to the channel. Hey, thanks for watching the video. As always, keep making progress towards your goals, and I know you'll be successful. I'll see you in the next video. One thing I do know for sure is that it makes a heck of a lint roller. Look at that. Who knew how versatile kinesiology tape could really be? It could also make for a really nice ASMR channel. You could use it to cover a tattoo. I don't have a tattoo, but if I did, I could cover it. You might be able to get away with wearing it as a mask. But once it's on, you're kind of in trouble.